TV volume still turned up. Let me get that real quick. Let me get my remote. Uh, that would be bad. That would be very bad. Entirely too loud. Now let me pull up the Twitch, cause you know what time it is. You know what time it's gotta be. It's gotta be Dustin loads his save data time. Okay, so I gotta pull up my Twitch channel. And I forgot to pull up the chat, so I better do that at the same time. Lots of things I forgot to do. So, sync check. Down, down, up, up. Yeah, seems good. Pulling up the chat, going into the game, just... Oh, no, I chose the wrong one. <laughs> chose the wrong save. Wrong save was chosen. No, it's actually this one. It's Game Boy. Okay, hang on. Now we gotta do the balance check, so... Let me get into roughly position. Okay, so... Checking, checking. Checking. I'm gonna raise the game by a teensy little bit, but not by much. I've done what I could to fix it. Tell me if this is good. I mean, I could probably look and tell myself, I don't know, but it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt. out of sync
Hmm, well, my next best idea, that usually works, but my next best idea is to reboot the capture card. All right, let's try it now, I suppose. Oh wait, no, it's not back up. And my controller, my controller is stuck under my chair. Fabulous. Gonna be one of those nights, ain't it? All right, uh, let's see this. Okay, I think I fixed it. Just testing a little bit more. Yeah, it seems good. I think I fixed it. Alright, sorry about that. Just let me switch over to the headphone thing that I do. And we may get started. Probably. Oh, that's loud. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hello. How you doing? My name's Dustin, how are you? N nah, Miles, that, that would have bothered me too, so I'm glad you pointed it out. At least, you know, before we started. Anyway, welcome back to Banjo. Now, first things first, you may remember that I was trying to do an Easter egg, but then it was like... You can't do that. You can't do that Easter egg. But now, we can. I can break Banjo's back and legs. So it must be. I'm going to take a swig of my drink while we walk there. Yes, I enjoy a good swig. Okay, so. Now I gotta get closer. Alright, how do? I'm looking. I'm looking at bottles. Do I have to get real close? Oh, there we go. Secret moving picture game. You can win a mystery prize. Better be good, soil brain. Do I get some new moves? Or uh, maybe. Now watch this. Okay, so we got like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh. Got a jig. Got to jig the saw. Hmm. Okay.
Ö, ö, ö. All right, we got this. We got this in the bag. We got it. I don't remember if there's multiple levels of this though. Yeah, I played this my first time and I didn't I don't think I knew about this. So, we get to do it now. You get to see me do it live. Hey, you did it. It was easy, Beetle Breath. What do we win? Listen carefully, and I'll tell you. Use the tiles on the floor of the sand castle in Treasure Trove Cove to spell the word Bottles Bonus One. Are there any more? Oh, okay. There is level two. So remember that for me, bottle bottles bonus one. I mean, I'll probably be able to remember it, but uh, just in case I don't, I would like a backup. Puzzle, puzzle of a level we haven't actually been to yet. Spoilers. Uh, a slip. It's like got a weird grid thing going on that you have to figure out. No. Fortunately, though, there's no, uh... Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, there's no penalty for getting it wrong, as far as I can tell. So, just, you know, you just gotta do it in the time limit. Bottles bonus two. Wouldn't this be easy to figure out? I mean, unless... Why not try level three? I mean, unless they just don't let you get it until then. His bottles bonus one and two. Whatever it is, I mean, I'm sure it's worth the trouble. Maybe not. Okay, I'm I'm dumb. Don't don't worry about me. Hi. I am having the dumb brain. Oh, it's upside down. How how am I so dumb? He, he told me about that, and then I totally forgot about that mechanic. I might have to do this one over. I got this. I got this. I don't got this. My life is a sham. Oh God, my life is in pieces. My life is in pieces. I, I will, I will try again, but first I'm a swig. most important part of doing a jigsaw puzzle is remaining hydrated. Okay, th you, this is right side up because the notes are right side up.
You gotta pay attention to that sort of thing. Okay, this one, this one I think is... Is this one right side up? There you go. We should probably get the corner pieces out of the way. Honestly speaking. But, when have I ever been smart? Okay. Okay, so it is right side up now because you can see the collectibles in it. Oh no, wait, there's a, there's a, there's a corner piece. Give me the corner piece. No, no, that's not it. No, it's not a corner piece. What the heck? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god. Don't worry, I will get it. Because we are gonna be here till I do. We will get it. Oh, no, wait, it can't be down here. I'm stupid. Oh, no. Well, it ain't gonna be this one, that's for sure. Oh my god, Lois. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. I think I, I really just do need to focus on the corners. Oh, nope. No, this has got to be top. Oh no, it, this is a corner piece. Okay, so this one is right side up. It's got notes. Okay, this one's got this guy on it. If I could only put it in the right spot. Okay, this one's dark, so it's gotta be on the bottom. And I gotta keep in mind the shape of these things. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Uh, <laughs> I am bad at video games. Hopefully you guys don't mind this being the whole stream. No, get... No, wait, this is a corner piece. God, why am I so bad? I mean, I know you're prob it's probably like a screaming at the screen moment, but this does kind of melt my brain a little bit. Okay, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh no. But at least I remember the password still. Okay, this one's right side up. Okay, this one's upside down. Okay, this one's right side up. This one's a corner piece. And probably up here. No? Down here? Yes. Okay, this one's to the side. Right here. I think this one's right side up. No, it's gotta be like over here. Okay, this one is upside down. Okay, this one is upside down. I'm pretty sure this one was upside down. I can't really see. Okay, this one's to the side. No, 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 no. Okay, no, here, here. Okay, this one is like this. Okay. Oh no, wait, I'm stupid. No, wait, there's a side piece. Oh my god. Oh my god, please. Please, bottles, please. Yes. Okay, please don't let there be another one. Oh, bottles, please. I can't see anything. <laughs> just when you thought it was over, it's only just begun.
But I'm having marginally more luck with this than I was the other one. No, it's gotta be like, it's gotta be down here. And all that is contained within. Can I just retry? Okay. How long have we been spending on this? About a half hour. Well, plus technical issues. We can do this. We can do this. impressed. He's br impressed in British. Okay. Just one left. And that would make six, right? So like six bonuses I have to punch in, I think. Oh, 
And now, complete concentration. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Yes, please, uh, ghost, fill the entire screen, thank you. Oh dang, I misinterpreted this something fierce. I'm not, I'm not gonna make it. Cool, blimey. I might not end up doing as many of the levels as I thought if this is gonna... If this is gonna take up most of my time. Oh, okay, no, give me this. Okay. So yeah, as Miles said, I want to go for uh, active stuff whenever possible. The problem is trying to figure out what it is I'm looking at. Because, like, yeah, there's a, there's like an active thing here, but what is the active thing, even? Okay, it goes down here. This one goes... Um... It has to go at the bottom, yeah. So... Okay, so the flame... Missed it just by a hair. Missed it just by a hair. You can see where some of them end up going, I will say that much. No? Okay. Okay, so this one needs to be turned to the right. Okay. Okay, no, it's gotta be down here, yeah. Okay, this one has the fire, the flame in it. Uh, uh, sorry for the lack of commentary as well. I'm sure you understand that this is a uh, quite an ordeal I'm in here. Oh no, that's not it. This is it. Oh god. Okay, big bottles bonus. So I go up to five and then I do big bottles bonus. 
Thank God. <laughs> okay, so to Treasure Trove Code, we go to enter those codes, see what they do. I actually don't remember what they do, and nobody tell me, because I will figure it out soon enough. Jump over an onion. No big deal. And you know, it's kind of funny we're talking about onions. Because you know what our next level will be. Okay, so we gotta take a bit of a detour here. Before we go on to the actual next level. Yeah, you, you pretty much want to be doing this all the time. It's not like that much faster than Banjo's walking speed, but it's faster enough to where doing it at all times is pretty uh, beneficial. Also, be sure to tell me if the audio balance gets out of whack, because I'm only able to really uh, figure out what it should be based on the conditions at the start. Like, for instance, this this music is louder. This music is a bit louder than the other ones I've been hearing so far. So, let me turn that down a little bit. So hopefully that's not uh, overpowering my voice when I do things like that. It's, uh, I gotta drain the water again. I, I thought it stayed drained, but I guess not. But at the same time, I guess there's nothing I can really do about a game with inconsistent audio levels. Except just hope and pray, really. So I just... I guess I just trust you guys to let me know if things go south. Okay, so it was just bottles bonus, one through five, and then big, big bottles bonus. Okay, so... B. Oh, let me take care of this guy. This might take me a minute to enter all of these. B. O. T. T. Now where is the L? B O T T. L E Bottles. Oh god, this is gonna take ages. <laughs> U. Where's the U? I'm um, okay. I've heard of this being called a uh, search and peck, but this is ridiculous. Oh, I got big head mode. Alright, so bottles bonus one is big head mode. So let's try uh, bottles bonus two and see what that gets me. Oh, I think I gotta leave and come back. For the record, like I said before, I, I've i never gotten this before, so if you guys don't know what's going on, neither do I, so I was completely oblivious to this when I first played the game. Oh, dang it, I, I went to enter one, I wanted to go for two. Yeah, we're probably just gonna get one level done tonight. But, uh, uh, who cares? It's fun, you know? As long as we're having fun, that's, that's what matters. 
But since this is a Dustin stream, of course, nobody's having fun. Okay, so we want to go for two this time. Bottles bonus two. Okay, so this is big, big hands mode. Big hands and feet mode. Uh, yes, we are getting footage of the remake very soon. So I'm interested to hear in that. Hear about that, I mean to say. Or see it at least. I want to see if it's any good. Okay, so that's. So. So now we want to go for three. I have no idea if you're able to, uh to get one without actually playing the minigame. Okay, this is big Kazooie mode. If I had to have one turned on, this would probably be the one. Okay, now for four. There's six of these total. Get an F in the chat. <laughs> okay, this is good. This one is good. Long banjo. <laughs> I like this one. We're selling chocolate bars. Would you like to buy one? Okay, so this would be five, I think, and then we do big bottles bonus. Oh, so so this is combination. <laughs> this is abomination mode. Do we get uh, no? Cause Ui's not big, but <laughs> oh, this is silly. This is a silly game. Okay, now last one. B. I. I. Okay. I mean, it makes sense that most of these are uh, inconsequential to the game at large, considering it's kind of in a very out of the way sort of place. Okay, I think this is, yeah, this is just every effect at once.
All right, so I'll, I'll leave it to a vote. Do you want me to run around like this, or do you want me to switch back to normal banjo? I'll wait here a second to, uh, for you to let me know. Oh, did the follower message finally work? All right, Kirby Lover says to keep it. Uh, Langton says switch to number four. So, Miles, what do you think? Should we uh, walk around, like, in a special mode, or should I go back to normal? Either way, I'm going to have to enter one more code, probably. Okay, Greeny says switch back. What was number four again? Was that Big Kazooie mode? Or was that- oh, that was Slender Banjo mode. <laughs> you know what? Alright. I'll, I'll go with- since everybody kind of gave me a different answer, I'll, I'll go with a Slender Banjo for a while. <laughs> Hello, uh, Jinjo Tui. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you're not a huge fan of this game. I forgot if I hit one of those already. So we'll, we'll run around this tall banjo for a while. <laughs> Just because I was also the most amused by that one. We'll, we'll, uh, if we have time to do more than one level, we'll come back later and, uh, turn it off. Yeah, playing Banjo-Kazooie in a higher resolution is, is pretty nice. I have to say. Now, I'm trying to remember the way to the next level we were at. I think it was this way. Or was it, uh... Let's see, have I gone this way? No, I haven't gone this way yet. I, I could potentially go this way. But uh, I could also, you know, go to the other level. I like that uh, Kazooie, because of like the modified, I guess, proportions to Banjo, she just kind of floats off the ground. When Tootie is a big old lump, I've just the frock to hide her rump. Oh, and not only is he slender, his head fluctuates. Anyway, it's time to go to the swamp. Keep your eyes open for your new move, big face. Okay, there's that fella. Yummy crock disliked that. Me want yummy egg too. Oh hey, there's our new move, I I do believe. These are the waiting boots. Chicken legs wears them. So you can safely wade through dangerous areas, like the swamp, for a limited time. Okay, chicken. Or Kazooie. Let's go grab a, a pair.
Okay, so yeah, it lets us walk through dangerous substances. Such as the swamp water. And we get uh, long legs for no discernible reason. So like, we can come go over here and get this mumbo token. In the original, when I played this game originally, I thought he was saying Ecom Tokum, because like, I don't know, some kind of token joke. Oh. But uh, turns out he was saying Ecom Bokum, which is, I mean, equally nonsense, but... We get these giant things. I don't even know what these things are called usually. Oh, Kazooie, my life hurts. Oh, get over here. Get over here. Oh, nope. Don't, don't go in there. Oh yeah, yeah, cattail, that's what those are called. Okay, we got some notes back here we want to get. Alright. Oh, okay. We have turned egg into smaller egg. And we have turned that egg into even smaller egg. And, you know, so on and so forth. I'm sure you pretty much get the idea at this point. Banjo just attaches the jiggy to his arm. I'll admit, though, part of me does kind of miss cheat codes like this. Like, you know, the cheat codes that don't actually really do anything much. They're just like big face mode. You don't see cheat codes much anymore. Er, an ugly, airy trespasser. He's after our gold. But he'll never beat us all. It's a fine day for a swell battle. You know, he'll never beat us all. Isn't that what they said when they were gonna run into Area 51 or something? too tough for us to fl flip it. Take our gold. Well, maybe they would have won if they did, like, the Naruto run at me. Okay, so we got a number of ways we can go. There's, like, a turtle. There's, like, I, I feel like that's the problem with me playing these games, is that Is that I just like, I don't know, I just get distracted so easily. Like, I'm like, okay, I could go this way, I could go this way. I, I, I get paralyzed by choice, really. Oh, camera that I'm just, I'm never gonna get used to the camera. Okay, okay.
I think Banjo Tui on the Xbox lets you change the uh, access though. So if you're like me and this is the bane of your existence, and you can never be entirely sure which button you're supposed to press, then congratulations, Banjo Tui has you covered. But Banjo Kazooie, uh, no, go eat a big fat one. So saith Rare and Microsoft. Nah, nah, not that. Okay, and then, you know, you get the idea. That guy keeps going all over the place. We gotta give chase. There's, like, stuff in the water. What? What? What happened? And what happened? What happened? Capture card. Frame Meister. Okay, well, my screen just died right as I was doing that life... Like that death-defying jump in the air, so... Cool, I'm glad I can count on my equipment to get the job done. Alright, there's our witch switch. That is what the official name is of that, I have remembered. And it has destroyed Gruntilda's hat. Oh, okay, there's a... I, I want to get that to that token. How do I do that? Let's see, let's see. Mistake! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were very made. Unless there's like a... Oh, I'm, I'm a dummy. I'm a big old dummy. Because I was trying to not destroy the house, but it turns out destroying the house is exactly... What makes this doable? Aren't these game designers wonderful? Okay, now we need to go down. Oh, come on. That damaged me? That? You, you are jesting. You are jesting me. Well, I mean, you know I can't very well stream Bubsy 3D if I haven't streamed Bubsy 1 and 2. Oh, okay. I, re I remember the deal with these. Oh. I'm gonna die. I am actually going to die. Okay, cool. This is this is a quality Nintendo 64 era camera. Also, something that a uh, Twitter mutual has um, enlightened me to is that uh, Sonic and Sonic Adventure and Donkey Kong 64. My feet are so numb and cold. Uh, Sonic Adventure and Donkey Kong 64 were released in the same year, which I find impossible to think about. Ah, uh, that's a bit better. Yes, I, I sure am glad that uh, me causing you to scream in complete and abject agony is helping you feel better. Like if, if this, if I'm giving him a massage or something, they could have chosen a more appropriate sound effect for this.
tank top's warm at last. Perhaps you... I don't know, man. I don't question the logic, I just grab the jiggies. Alright, now let's get ingested by this turtle. Luckily, inside a turtle there is no stomach, there is only more shell. This is the second time now that we've gone inside another living thing in this game. Quiet please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. Red, purple, red. Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? Well, we'll see. Copy what you just heard from lesson one. Okay, so red, purple, red. Hmm. Not too bad. Try lesson two. Red, yellow, blue, yellow, cyan. Splendid. You just need one more lesson. Okay, blue, purple, purple, red, yellow, blue. I, 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 I have probably lost track. What do you mean, no? Uh, blue... Um... Uh, I'm gonna hope for the best here. Thank God I have the chat to help me cheat! Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. Oh, that's some good frame drops. Hello, J. Matthew. Thank you for joining us today as we take on bear and bird game and my demise is surely imminent. Any one slip up and I could probably die. Also there's a giant uh, crocagator of some description here. Okay, let me go up there and get a heal. Get a heal going. Why is Banjo so long? Uh, because Bottles has given us the power of God. And I have abused this power for my own twisted benefit. Uh, Banjo will cease being long in a, a short period of time, but for now, Long Boy is what we're dealing with. Uh. Oh, okay. So now he's back that way. Good. 
Oh, okay. I'm glad it's working, though. I wasn't... I'm not looking at, uh, my, like, OBS preview or anything, so I couldn't know for sure. So thank you for assuring me that that is, in fact, working. I forgot what sound effect I had queued up for it, but I'll probably find some more varied ones. Um... Technically none of the above, uh, though I guess closest answer would be Rare Replay. I'm, I'm playing on an Xbox 360. Just recently got ha my hands on one. Oh, there was no sound effect? Well, that's weird. There should have been a sound effect. Oh, well. I'll, I'll look into that later. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm playing on Xbox 360, which is pretty much Rare Replay. Just without all the other game. I just, I just did not have the funds to get an entire Xbox One with Rare Replay, but I'd like to eventually. It's got like... It's got like, uh, ba Battletoad. Everybody loves the Battletoad. Well, either way, the lack, the lack of a sound effect playing isn't a huge deal. I just wanted to make sure the animation worked. I didn't know the 360 had banjo. Well, it, it does. I, I have screwed up getting the note, so I'm going back. I'm going back. Ah, uh, the Xbox Scarlet. I I really do have no idea why they named it the Scarlet. I mean, I'm guessing that's just a code name. I mean, I've heard worse names for consoles. Never let Nintendo live the Wii U down. And then from Microsoft themselves, we had the Xbox One. Yeah, thanks guys. Not confusing at all. <laughs> well, I will say one thing in the defense of, uh, now, don't expect to hear this phrase again, but in the defense of the Ouya and Stadia, um, they are at least distinct names. Names that, like, you probably won't hear in another context. The thing about the Wii U was that it was kind of confusing to some people as to what the product even was. <laughs> Which, I mean, I'm sure is an argument you've heard a ton of times on the internet. Like, I mean, obviously I knew what it was, but, you know, I'm also a, a Nintendo nerd who's keeping up with every single piece of information they release. So... So yeah, if you're looking for an original Xbox these days, you gotta look for original Xbox. You can't look for Xbox One anymore for obvious reasons. Alright, so... The long-awaited return of Mumbo, who I may have falsely claimed was in every level. Oh, okay. My capture card kinda, like, my signal died out for a second there. But luckily at this point it wasn't at a crucial moment. A yo mumbo. The Nintendo Kyle to come out. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival is by far the best video game ever made. Yeah man, I don't know how anybody could hate that one. Bootleg Mario Party with Amiibo. No, requires Amiibo? Nah man. It's flawless. Anyway, let's transform. I'm assuming that this code... Uh, oh, it does! Holy crap! 
It, it makes the transformation long, too. Holy crap. I feel bad because this this tiny alligator is normally the most adorable thing, but... <laughs> yeah, he kind of got uh, Quasimodo'd a little bit. But yeah, special powers are being small, being able to uh, go in the water without getting hurt. I mean, without a time limit, that is, so... Have I ever played Castle Crashers? No, but I've seen it played before. And I, I think I own it on Steam. I've lost track of the games I have on Steam, honestly. Which I, which normally would sound kind of like a humble brag. But I think, uh, I think most people are in the same boat. I blame Humble Bundle, personally. Okay, I'm at Max Feather. Uh, uh, pfft, camera. So anyway, let's go in this alligator's nose. This would make a lot more sense if my back wasn't extended into infinity. Alright, so... So this is uh, the, the mission that I've said, you know, you technically don't have to do. Like, okay, so I should probably explain. There's a mini game here, but you may notice there are shoes in the background. You can play this mini game now and you can win, but it's a lot harder if, and it becomes a ton easier if you come back afterwards. I'll try it one time. Her, her, her. I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies. Ready? So yeah, basically you're running around. You're running around trying to eat uh, these guys. The key, I think, is to uh, go in front of him. If you want to win, like, without the boots, I think the key is to go to the ones that he's heading for, usually. But, basically, at the risk of spoiling it, um, at the risk of spoiling it, uh, those boots let you go faster. So, uh, it makes this minigame a ton easier because you can outrun him way more easily than you normally do. Gah! You only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? What's a yumbly? I got no idea. But yeah, you can you can win this now. But it's a lot harder if you don't have the boots. Bah, lucky greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. Ready? 
two, one, go. Okay, so you want to go for reds. It's, uh, I have a feeling I'm not gonna be victorious in this one. Yeah, you see, he's moving kind of fast now. Oh, I won. Greeny can have prize. Yeah, I don't think that ended up being easy. I don't think the streamer counter curse uh, applied there, really. Because usually that's just when it becomes stupid easy. But I, I you know, I was still sweating. Luckily, not literally. I'm, I'm pretty good on that front. Usually, usually that's a problem. But right now, I'm good. Oh, we're beetle juicing in the chat, I see. Okay, all... All are head. Okay, missing a Jinjo. Okay, what else are we missing? Are we missing anything? I mean, we are missing stuff, but what? How much is Banjo on 360? Uh, it's about $15, but you know, that doesn't include uh, Banjo Tooie, so that'll run you another 15. And I'm aware for 30 more bucks, I could have had Rare Replay, but I, like I said, this Xbox 360, I just got it. It run me about uh, 65 bucks. Whereas even a used Xbox One would run me about uh, would run me about 100, I think, and that that's used. And I don't even know about the condition, really. Okay, so we pretty much have just have to get uh, the cro the Croctus. Okay, so let's see. Okay, signal dipping out again. Not totally sure why that keeps happening. Okay, so I am missing one of the empty honeycombs, but I think I think that's just gonna happen. I think I'm just gonna have to go back and clean them up off screen. But yeah. Also, Banjo's head is still fluctuating even on the pause screen, so cool beans there. So we need to go back to Mumbo to to make it to get him to make us normal again. I'm tired of being a misshapen octopus. Oh, yeah, this is an octopus. Misshapen crocodile. And I want to become a misshapen bear again. Okay. 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 What's going on? I don't. Like I said, I that might not be reflecting anything at all for you. But, uh, I, I'm kind of dipping, my signal's kind of dipping out every now and then. So, uh, do I have, 
So to get out of here is Banjo, do I have to go back through the old thing? No, I mean, I guess I could fall off that cliff. Or, if we're wanting to play with maximum big brain potential. You know what, actually, let me check something. I, I want to make sure that they didn't hide it over here. Is it just me or does the mumbo... It does mumbo sound similar to Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot? A little bit. I mean, they both have that tribal theme going on, so... You know, I mean, yeah, there'd probably be a similarity. Okay, so... I don't think there's hidden goodies. For like a brief moment, I had a brain fart and thought I would be able to do a long jump. Oh no, wrong, wrong maneuver. Like I said, not, not used to playing this on the Xbox. I, I played it on the N64. So, I gotta get, I gotta get, still get... I'm getting used to the way it plays on a Xbox. So I think that's all. Now just to... So, just to make sure it saves though, I'm going to exit the level. Oops. And the reason I clarified that is because I have a plan. Yeah, it's always funny when you see, uh, you know, like, you kind of see bits and pieces of a game. But you don't actually... Aw, oh, crap. Well, actually, that works out, because I was gonna want to show you something anyway. But let me, let me just see if, uh, exiting the game. Plus, I get to show you this cutscene. I haven't shown you this yet. So, if you quit or get a game over, you get this cutscene. Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn it up, I need full power. Yes, your grunty ship. Transformation soon be complete. Oh, me, Banjo, I feel all funny. Bear and bird finished. Grunty wins. Look at Grunty, she's a beauty. I'm much prettier than Tootie. Oh, you are, mistress. Grunty, nice. Come back to Mumbo Skull, yes? Banjo, your sister wants a word with you. Now. So yeah, that's the quote, bad ending. <laughs> yeah, I never got why it happened uh, when you exit the game, but at least I get a way to show it to you easily. All right, so, and in addition, that has the handy side effect of returning Banjo back to normal. I wasn't sure if it would, but I thought it was worth a try. Worst case scenario, I could kind of quick warp back here. So we need to head back that way. And I just remembered, so you know how I said that you can bring some transformations out of the levels? Well, you do, I think, need to bring the crocodile out of the level. So, I have to go back and get the crocodile again. 
But on the bright side, that does mean you get to see what the crocodile normally looks like. Oh, uh, blast. I mean, I don't, you might not have to do it, but I think, I think you do. So let me, uh, run back to Mumbo real quick, like, and then I'll have to, uh, after I do a little bit more in the hub world, I'll have to check to see how long I've been live, because I kind of spent, kind, I, I kind of spent a possibly unreasonable amount of time doing the uh, Bottles minigame. But you know what? I, I like to be thorough when I stream games most of the time. I mean, there are a few exceptions, like, uh, I, I didn't really go for 100% in Mario's Holiday when I streamed that, but, uh, truth be told, I was kind of getting frustrated with that game. And no offense to the creator. I wish I could just kind of slide under here. Yo, it looks like you almost can. Almost. But, um... No offense to the creator there, I just... I don't know, I don't think Mario 64 DS... I don't think Mario 64 DS was really built for all that. And I, I hope the program he was developing gets better with time. At least for, uh... Star... Star Road DS, whatever, whatever it's called. So I think there are alternatives in the works to fix the glaring issue that is Mario 64 DS's control scheme. Nah, they said. We'll put... We'll put the game that pioneered 3D analog control... We'll put it on a... Put it on a system without an analog stick. It'll be fine. Nobody needed to do the side jump. Well, at least I can get a few mumbo tokens that I missed. Okay, so here's what the crocodile normally looks like. Look at this little guy. So, I need to take him out of the level. You can get extra air by biting. That applies in real life too, so remember that. Oh, I noticed Turtle Man is reset. The one problem with playing it on Wii U and 3DS is, as far as I'm aware, uh, it only gives the illusion of analog. It, it does not actually provide analog control. So that being said, controlling it with, uh, yeah, as Langton said, be it's better than a D-pad, if nothing else, but, but I still wouldn't go far as to say it's good, at least in my opinion. Please do not shoot. Yeah, so we, we want to take the uh, alligator through here. Oh yeah, so we did need to do this because, uh... I mean, can, can the alligator activate the, the painting? Indeed he can. I mean, yeah, you can use the touch screen. You can, uh, saw off your own head and then kick it, but, you know, why do that? Alright, so, you might be able to take the alligator a little further here, but you also need to, uh, deal with this. I mean, I'm glad the touchscreen support is there, but it always seemed to me like Oh, we have a problem with this game, and we we don't know what to do with it. 
Well, might as well just like, you know, throw in the touchscreen. Like, you want analog controls? Use the touchscreen, you idiot. Just use the touchscreen, you idiot. Put the put the little strap on your thumb, fool. Yeah, man, just like, just like duct tape a Wii remote to a pro controller if you want to play Splatoon. Oh, you some kind of baby? Some kind of baby? You don't want to strap your Wii remote Wii remote to a pro controller? You like? You don't want to freaking uh. Put this big plastic thing on your 3DS so you can have a second thumbstick. That you, you mean you don't like that? You big old baby. <laughs> hey lefties, if you want to play Kid Icarus Uprising, give us more money. Grunty's legs and stomach thins. Goodbye all to all those double chins. Oh, the dialogue in this game is just wonderful. It's just wonderful. I didn't have one of those, but I did have like all manner of worm lights. And similar... Similar things. What's down here? The switch. What's it do? Oh, it makes the jump. If you really want a game, you should use the DK bongas. That's still one of the weirdest peripherals I think I've ever seen. Like, I mean, it doesn't seem too weird now, because, I mean, we're all used to it at this point. But, like... It's, it's like a freaking set of bongos for your GameCube. What on earth? What were they smoking and where can I get a truckload of it? Nah, just, I'm kidding. Do not, do not, uh, smock. Dustin does not approve of the smocking. I mean, you can do what you want, but I'm just, I'm telling you how I feel about it. And that's how we get that. So if you go in there, and you haven't like hit the witch switch that uh, destroys her hat, you just kind of slide off. Oh yeah, I remember the Wii Zapper. That you know, it was just a piece piece of plastic for your nunchuck. Reminder that the Wii Vitality Sensor was very nearly a thing, until it wasn't. Oh, you can just kind of slide around on it. Okay, so, you can get a mumbo token behind here. The, the balance board, there was the balance board, but also like... I remember they were, they were going to release a heart rate, uh... A heart rate kind of monitor for the the Wii, and I remember reading about that. I remember reading about how they were coming out with uh, the Wii Vitality Sensor, and then I just kind of forgot about it because I, you know, I didn't care because <laughs> I don't think most of us cared. But uh. But then it just kind of, you know, time went by and I was just kind of thinking, oh, whatever happened to that? And it then turns out it never came out. Um, let's, is there just like a door up there? So we could go to Frizzy Peak, which is the next level. Let me, I should probably see how long I've been streaming though, because I don't want to go too late into the night. Let me check it real quick. Oh, oh, oh.
And I gotta stand up a second anyway. Uh, we got... We've been about an hour and a half. I mean, I could probably do at least one more. Just let me, uh... Eh, stretch out a bit. Oh, obsbrowserpage.exe has stopped working. Alright, cool. Okay, the chat broke. At least on my computer. I got it on my phone, but, um... Chat... Freaking rip, I guess. <laughs> Alright. If you say so. OBS. I mean, don't worry, I, si I can still read the chat, it's still on the stream, just the, uh, the OBS widget crashed, and I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, just a minute, just a minute. Gotta do my stretches. I should probably stretch before I get in a chair. That would probably help me out a bit, honestly. Oh, yep, yep, just a moment, almost there. See, you see that pose Banjo's in? That's what I'm doing. Sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta take a break. Just a quick break. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, we have time for, uh, for ZZ, I think. It'll just be two levels, probably. I don't know. I'll just I'll play it by ear. Well, you know, don't just don't don't worry about it, man. Just life's too short to worry about, you know, whether or not the next level is gonna be too long. But this is a good level, at least in my opinion. Oh, okay. I remember this. So you can activate this, but you can't... Spoilers, you can't actually get there fast enough. You need the shoes. And I don't know if you actually get them in this level or, or, or not. Oh. I feel like you don't actually get them in this level. I think it might actually be uh, Gobi's Desert you get those in. Anyway, got a uh, got a mumbo. You know, break banjo's back some more. Go into the level. So it's Christmas time. The peak's got another new move waiting for you. If you can find it. All right, bottles. You just hi you just hide in that uh, freezing ground. Wow, where's our presents? Our dad, Boggy, said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Wow. All right, so we're we're dealing with a case of parental neglect. Nothing that uh. Good old psychologist banjo can't solve. Anyway, this is Christmas time. Okay, I think I I think I figured out what happened to him. Uh, he fell down the slope and died. Oh my stomach aches! I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. Alright, so he ate our Jiggy. Okay, that's not enough, I think. Egg? I won't actually remember what you do here. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. The solution is to make him eat more, of course. Okay, never mind, we'll come back.
Uh, okay. So we get maniacally laughing snowman in this level. <laughs> okay, so there is a uh, a sentient ice cube here. All kinds of horrifying implications there that I'm not going to touch on. All right, so there there are some missions that can be done, but these snowmen are going to make them kind of difficult, so we should probably get the, the move, the new move we need to deal with them. Time for some aerial action with my devastating beak bomb attack. Nice one, Goggles. Tell me more. No, I was being sarcastic. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose your targets carefully, though, as it costs a red feather each time you use it. Okay, so yeah, that's one, just one move, one move in this level. Tends to have been the trend for the past couple. Okay, so we probably do want to take out the snowmen, first things first. Because they will prove a nuisance if left unchecked. Okay, I have failed to hit. You gotta hit you gotta hit them on the red mark on their head. Yeah, there you go. So we wanna take care of these guys. Plus their laugh is really annoying, so we wanna. You want to have to stop hearing it as soon as physically possible. Oh, okay, so I've landed on the ground and thus have failed every mission I've ever set out to do in my life. So, I'm sure you can imagine, but the water uh, hurts. Water, ice water does not, Banjo does not like the ice water. I, I think I know this level pretty well, though. I think this is a level that stick. When I, when I think about this game, I think this is one that sticks out in my mind very often. It's Frizzy Peak. Gosh dang it. Okay, so uh, that's pretty tricky. I, I want to want to attack, but this is not an easy feat when you have to attack them from like midair. Okay, so that's one of the presents. Uh, we can we can bring that back to the kid, but I don't see any point in doing it until we have all three. So we're just gonna not do that yet. My sister keeps trying to message me about like some kind of adapter. She doesn't know what it is I'm doing, I believe. Oh, let's press the witch switch. And it opens up the secret compartment of my secret box. Revealing one embarrassing photo of Gruntilda at the Christmas party. Okay, so let's try that. Let's try that once more with feeling. I want to just, I just want to take these guys out. No, no, oh God! I did it again. Oh my God, Lois, I have goofed. 
up the game. Banjo-Kazooie is a cautionary tale of how man creates its worst enemies. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Truly with more compassion, many of life's most dangerous foes would have been avoided. Okay, so I think that's everybody. And now we can actually, you know, do things at our leisure. Oh, that, that hurt me, cool. I didn't know it did that. Yikes, a nasty fierce bear. Phew, it's safe for Waza to come out now. I, I haven't left yet. I, I, I just completely neglected to do the voice I had just came up with for him. But yeah, as you can tell, he, he does not like Banjo. So we are not gonna, get, we're not gonna get anywhere with that guy as Banjo. So we're gonna have to you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we're gonna have to come back with something else. We're the Twinklies. Protect us from the Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to our tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. This is just kind of horrific in all sorts of ways. It's just, it's just one of the situations in this game that just, you know, gives me so many questions. So many questions I will likely never receive an answer to. Phew, that was close, but we made it. Now switch us on. Will do. And I will do this the same way I do anything, with egg. Except one egg is apparently not enough. Yippee, be a star and you'll find your reward. Hurry. Okay, so I gotta fly through. I gotta fly through the star, I think, is how this went. And I tried to be turned the right way. Okay, I did not mean to hit the snowman. Okay. Okay, Banjo. Uh, I keep forgetting I can turn sharply and with feeling. So, we got that, but while we're in flying mode, there's another thing we can get, so I might as well uh, get that. Very densely packed, this level. Very frizzy, this peak. Okay. 
Okay, so we hit the buttons. There's a he pees out a jiggy. Yeah, that's right. I went there. I made that joke. Sometimes the low-hanging fruit is the most delicious of all. I can't believe that's the first jiggy I've actually collected in this level. So now we need to go into the tree. Uh, nope, didn't didn't get it. Did not pass go, did not collect 100 notes. Okay, gotta get the mumbo. Climb the tree. Describe what I'm doing as a substitute for actual commentary. There's a present. Got it's got to be crammed, cramped in that backpack at this point. Like we already got a bird in there, and now we're just throwing like every item. Like, are we keeping every single, every single note that we get in there? What about the, what about the jiggies? Like, does Kazooie actually eat the jiggy, or is that just like a metaphor for the human condition? This game confuses me. I want answers. I want answers, Rare. Dang man, I, I don't know what it is about them there jiggies. Keeps people eating them or something, I don't know. There's a lot to do. Oh, there's another flying pad, so that's good. If you really if you really need one. I almost did not recognize this as an empty honeycomb piece because it had an actual honeycomb on top of it. I mean, hey man, I retweeted it. Like, like say what you will, but I, I, I'm not going to say no to like a potential free signed copy of Nuts and Bolts. Like, if I thought... If I thought Sega would give me a signed copy of Sonic 06, I would, I would sign up. Doesn't cost me anything. Like, yeah, man, I'll take a signed copy of Bubsy 3D for no money. What could possibly go wrong? But I will say, I know this seems like it's coming right the heck out of nowhere, but, like, I wouldn't say that this is as good a game as Mario 64, but it's still darn charming. And it, it is understandable why it's a, it's a classic in many people's eyes. Oh, there's a note back there behind the, the thing. So wait, is this is the way I came, right? Yeah. It's a shame that uh, seemingly ukulele wasn't able to capture the same magic for most people. I've I played it. I I enjoyed it a fair bit. I thought. Oh, there's a jiggy in the pipe. I thought that was like something else. But yeah, I thought I thought it was good. 
I liked it. Would I say it's like, uh, you know, banjo quality? Probably not. But, you know, I mean, I thought it was alright. But then again, I did play the patched version of the game after they had ironed out some of the issues, so maybe... Maybe that is a factor. I would have considered streaming it, but, uh... My computer just melted into slag whenever I tried to run it, so I had to play it on someone else's computer. It, it may it may be time for me to get an upgrade, but you know you gotta have the cash money. You gotta have the dosh if you want to get the com composh. Yuka or Hat Child. I have fallen off the snowman. I have not played Hat in time. And as previously mentioned, uh... Nah, I won't get into that right now. Well, let's just say there's some, uh... I mean, you guys already know people in chat, but I'm saying for anybody who may watch in the future, or if, you know, those guys from earlier are still there, there's there's a little bit of uh, low-key controversy. But that's, that's all I'll get into. If anybody in the chat wants to talk about it, whatever, but I, I, I will not go as far to, as to continue. Anyway, I gotta get to that sled because I am an idiot and fell off the snowman. Oh, that's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'll go and practice for the big race now. See ya, buddy. I mean, it, it's a whole freaking jiggy. You just, yeah, you just freaking swallowed it whole, I guess. I mean, no wonder his stomach was hurting. Can't imagine that would be healthy. So, okay, this level has one of the two jiggies that you kind of have to come back to get. Or at least if you don't, then it is like speedrunner level. You gotta have speedrunner level skill in order to pull it off. And the music's happy again. See, I I have become a surrogate father to these boys. I'm a better dad than their real dad ever has been. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is about Nintendo Nintendo consoles just completely getting the shaft with these uh, ports. Gotta love how uh, the 3DS and Vita... Okay, cool collision, Kazooie. The 3DS and Vita versions of um, Mighty Number no. 9 just never came out. That being said... In spite of all the controversy, at least, at least, uh, Kickstarters got a fairly decent game out of it and didn't just, like, you know, that it didn't end up being one of those Kickstarter disasters. Speaking of which, I am glad to hear that Bloodstained is apparently pretty good. I was worried about that one. <laughs> being, being a big Castlevania fan and all. Which, uh, speaking of, I, I need to do another one of those on the, on this stream sooner or later. Yeah, Bloodstained on Switch, I've heard, is kind of uh, a mess, but... 
I've heard everywhere else it's good. Where, where's the Jinjo? I heard a Jinjo. Oh, it's right there. I'm guessing you're talking about uh, Curse of the Moon. Uh, versus Ritual of the Night. I, I will put it one way, or I will say one thing. I'm not a huge fan of how sexualized Miriam's design looks. Like, didn't really, didn't really need, uh, you know, them gothic boobs hanging out. But that's just me. But then again, I mean, I guess it's still less sexualized than what Konami wants to do with Castlevania, am I right, fellas? Banjo got all fat. Got big teeth. <laughs> now I'm a walrus. I find it weird that the new ukulele game is basically Retro Studios Banjo. No, not Banjo. Retro Studios. I mean, that would be interesting. But Retro Studios uh, Donkey Kong. So yeah, in case you haven't pieced it together yet, this is what we need in order to get into uh, the walrus's cave. We need to uh, be the walrus. See, the walrus is very racist. So, yeah, so we gotta appeal to his nature. I know, we're not, no one's happy about it, but it's what we gotta do. I mean, yeah, Castlevania does have some nudity in it. I don't know if I'd go as far to say full of, but there are some no notorious repeat offenders. Wow, another walrus. Gr take this. But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. All right, I'll keep an eye out. So you just gotta come over here, really. So... There is an infamous item that I assume we will now be able to collect. Why, hello again, Mr. Walra. Feel free to have a look around. Waza's cave. So. I don't I know where it is. Okay, so where's the... Where's Jinjo? We can go through here. We can go through the water. Ooh, that. Suck it. Suck an egg. There's plenty around here for to suck. I think I think you get both of them in this level. An unusual... Yeah, an unusual occurrence for me. I must say. You know, honestly, Aria of Soul might have been a cool name for a sequel. I mean, we got Dawn of Sorrow, so they chose to keep up. Yeah, up there. Up there. Ready. So we'll have to come back. But now that the walrus isn't blocking us from coming in, we will have to come back. But first, let's just, uh, you know, let's walk around in the ice water. See what it is we weren't able to get before. That sort of thing. Could have hidden something under there. They didn't, but they could have. I don't think you do too much as the walrus. You don't get an attack, definitely. Honestly, at this point, I, I just want... I just wish that, you know, Castlevania would come back and be good. You know, I don't care what the heck it's about. 
Hey, Mr. Walrus. Fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Great. Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one. Go! The, you know, the red slow slow long on them. Nope, nope, Boggy. Go away, Boggy. No, Loogie. Yep. Just keep stealing vine sauce jokes, that's good. Dustin Streams, the best advertisement for vine sauce you'll ever see. Wow, this goes on longer than I thought. But it's it's tricky. You gotta you gotta stay in front of this this jerkwad. Eh, boggy, boggy, please. Boggy, no. Okay. You, you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race them one my own size. So, so I mean, this this does imply that he thought this was a medal and he still ate it. All right, cool, Boggy. That's cool. Uh, please, uh, please go commit. Don't. Is all I gotta say. Okay, and there's one more thing we gotta do with the walrus. So, if you haven't figured it out, he goes back over there, and you can come back and race him as Banjo. But it's borderline impossible unless you have an upgrade from a later level. Like, I'm not talking, you know, like the mini game in the swamp. I'm talking like. I don't actually think, like, even if I was just super fantastic, super great at it, I don't think I would be able to. Oh, so we still, we still have to get the Jinjo in the cave. Oh, okay, um, hang on, I can fix it. Tell me if it's good now. Alright, so, gotta turn back into Banjo. Seems a good... Okay. But yeah, so, there, there's a mission here that we pretty much cannot do until we get an upgrade later, so... So, yeah. I think it's one of two in the game, and I honestly forgot what the other one was. So, that's... that's fun. You know, we gotta... we gotta fly to get over there faster. Do a flight. Flight of the Concord, whatever... I forgot what that even was. But I said it. I associated a word with another word. The best kind of commentary I can offer right now. Eek the bear again. Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Waza alone. Alright, so... You, you can see here. Okay. So I can go through here. So normally, in the regular game, there would be a wall of ice blocking you here. 
and you couldn't actually get to it. So all you could do is just stand here and stare at the ice key. Which, granted, in this game, does absolutely nothing. Because, like I said, it's one of the stop and swap items. Ooh, an enormous ice key. We should keep this stop and swap item for later. So you might be able to use it in, um... In Banjo Tooie, I'm not sure. The other one was just for nuts and bolts, I think. Go hook. So let's see, what what's our totals looking like? So yeah, we got nine out of ten, hundred out of a hundred, two out of two. So basically, everything we can get currently. So let's just leap. How about this? I'll open up the next level, and then we'll uh, we'll stop. That's that's where I'll I'll cut it once we've opened it. Not actually gone to it, just opened it. <laughs> I know some people are just like really upset about the fact that that like Bowser and what was it? Did K rule too? K rule. Uh, use realistic noises. Okay, so we don't have the boots yet. So there is a thing that we cannot do. And as you can hear, there is now a snowman in here. To my infinite annoyance. Oh, right, right, right. I remember what you gotta do, and we can't do it yet, because, like, you gotta do this whole trend of things to get to the flight pad, then you're gonna come back. I mean, it, I guess in all fairness, DK itself has been doing that lately. Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. You know, I don't think I believe it. I don't think we can trust her. I'll admit, I do have mixed feelings about the Kirk Hope Donkey Kong voice. Not necessarily, you know, bad feelings, just mixed. Oh wait, don't you just uh, use egg on this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have activated a path. So we're we're activating a little bit of fast travel. So we can get rid of this. We can't actually uh, get the flight pad yet, but we can at least get rid of it. I'm not sure which was uh, the lower amount of notes. Oh, so okay, so that was 450. What what's down? What's down here? Cuz I'm I'm trying to go in roughly chronological order. So that was 450. This is uh 350. So we want to go here first. Want to go through Gr Gruntilda's enormous mouth here. Mario! I mean, get ready for that. I am playing uh, Sunshine right now. That that will be probably tomorrow. Okay, so I know I said after we open the level, but I do kind of want to go through this room. Because there are secrets. And I am worried I won't remember next time. Okay, so Brintilda's over there. But we can go this way. 
the spook zone. So we got Christmas hype and now we got Halloween hype. So So just enjoy all the holidays. Uh, no St. Patrick's world yet, but I'm waiting on it. Your dog is obviously terrified of the music that's playing. I don't think I'm supposed to go up here like this. Okay, so, you know, there's a little bit going on. There's, uh... Okay, you can go down here. Oh, okay, thanks, camera. And there's a spooky house. Can't actually do anything with that, but, you know, spooky house. Run, run, run. Okay, so, I mean, I don't think there's too much around here. At least not yet. I mean, we could go talk to uh, Brintilda. That would probably be a good way to end the stream. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Ah, oh, she's just so lonely. I mean, she's also not a very good person, but she's also very lonely. Also, I find this room hard to uh, parse because of the light. So let's talk to Bruntilda. That'll be a good way to end the stream. Revolting Bruntilda's bedroom has smelly socks hanging from the ceiling. She also has an eyeball flower growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous streaky brown undies. I didn't need to know that. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> I... I didn't need to know about Gruntilda's skid marks, thank you. <laughs> Okay, that'll be that'll be it for me tonight. So here's the plan. Next time Next time uh, Either sunshine or Sonic 2 8-bit. I, I keep saying I'm gonna do Sonic 2 8-bit Oh, the Xbox says that I should play Sonic the Hedgehog. So I guess next time it'll be Sonic 2 8-bit. So then sunshine and then probably Sonic Adventure again. I I meant for Sonic Adventure to kind of be an irregular thing, but I kind of accidentally made it too irregular. Either way, that, that that'll be it for me. I'll see you.